In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for HF plus CaOH2. This is hydrofluoric acid plus calcium hydroxide. First thing with net ionic equations, we need to balance the molecular equation. This is our molecular equation. We've got two fluorines here and just one there. I'm going to put a two here. Now I can see that it looks like if I put a two here, that'll balance the hydrogens and the oxygen. So this is the balanced molecular equation. Next, we need to write the states for each substance. So HF will dissolve in water and it will be aqueous, but we do need to keep in mind that it's a weak acid. Calcium hydroxide, that'll dissociate completely. That's a strong base. And then compound here with fluorine in it, that's very soluble, aqueous. That'll dissolve in water. That's a liquid. So we have the states. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions to get the complete ionic equation. So HF is considered a weak acid. So even though it dissolves, it doesn't break apart into its ions very much. So because it's a weak acid, good one to remember, we're going to keep it together. We have two HF, and I'll write the states at the end. I won't write that now. Plus calcium's in group two, so that has a two plus ionic charge. Hydroxide, the whole thing, one minus. So I have calcium two plus calcium ion plus I have two hydroxide ions and these are the reactants in our net ionic equation for the products we said two plus one minus we have calcium two plus ion and then we have the fluoride ion we actually have two of them because of the subscript two F minus and then we do not split liquids apart in net ionic equations so we have two H2O. This is our complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. They don't really change, so we're not interested in them. The only thing I see that's the same in the reactants and the products is the calcium ion. So let's cross that out. But everything else, that's unique. So that is the net ionic equation for HF plus CaOH2. I'll clean it up, write the states in, and we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the net ionic equation for hydrofluoric acid plus calcium hydroxide. You'll notice we have a two in front of each substance. So we can actually reduce that down since they're all the same to one. We don't write the one. And this is a little more compact net ionic equation for the hydrofluoric and the calcium hydroxide reacting. You'll note that the charge is conserved. We have a negative charge on this side, a negative charge on this side, and we have the same number of each type of atoms on both sides. So mass is conserved as well. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.